Welcome back, everybody, to TD Worlds. Uh, since the last time we played, there's been a, a major update, a big update. Uh, call it a pretty big update. They've now introduced challenges into the game. Now, these are really, really cool because it's modifiers on your run as a whole. So there's challenges and there's incentives. And the goal is to kind of, well, you know, apply challenges to your run. And then based on the, uh, let's see here, level of the challenge, you can actually add incentives to your run. So for example, if I take quick, so enemies move by, uh, will speed up by 30% and tighten, they now have 30% uh, more health. So they're 30% faster and 30% more healthy. I can take a benefit here that is, I can take benefits here that equal four, equal up to four. So I could take banker and first aid. Actually, no, I can only take... Oh, it looks like I can only take a Banker. So I can take a challenge that is... I think I can do up to four? Yeah. I wonder if I just increase all of them, if it'll let me... Oh, it will let me take multiple. Okay, cool. Some of the uh, incentives don't work together, like Investor, it seems like a Banker... Investor and Magnate don't uh, don't work together because they all give you money in the end. So I figured let's do a, let's do something kind of fun. Let's let's do a challenge run. And I did a challenge run earlier, and I mean, look at all that scraps of matter I got. It's very impressive. Um, so let's do. Hmm. I kind of like Horde, so each level will have additional enemies, and I will make. The enemies not drop crystal essence. That could be fun. The shops are completely useless. And there'll be no damage effects. Sure. So I won't have access to the armory. But for that, I could take... It'd be kind of fun. Let me take that one. So let's grab... There we go. If I take Stingy, no no crystals will drop. All enemies have 30% more health, and each, le each level will have additional enemies. That'll allow me to take this on the way to success. No, no let's not do that. Let's just make this like a straight up just harder level. Uh, give me... Hmm. Give me Horde. And give me... Oh, what else I want to grab? You know, this is probably fine. Crystal Essence not available as a level reward. Doesn't seem too bad. And Crystal... And enemies not dropping Crystal Essence. So... My darkness is level four. I have those challenges enabled. Let's go here to the uh, the shop here. And I do want to, I did do a run with, uh, and I got a ton of uh, scraps of matter. So let's grab those two upgrades for more health and more starting essence. And let's go. I have no clue how this is going to go. Well, I know how it's going to go. I've already done a run, but I lost it. There we go. Okay, so I'm still rocking the slow towers. And it's R to speed up. It's been about a week or two since I've actually... No, about a week, I would say, since I actually played this, and i got to get back into the groove of things. But I don't think we'll have very many problems on these first couple levels. Is the going rate on the tower? 100 still, okay. But I was super happy when the when the when when these challenge modes came out, because came out, it does add a... A pretty nice little difficulty bump. Which I think is kind of neat. And no problem on level one. I, I would have been shocked if we would have had problems on level one, to, to tell you the truth. Um, give me a uncommon cost. Give me an uncommon cost reduction. We need the cheapest towers in all the land here. Uh, 
92. What did I take for... I think I took additional enemies. Come on, let me build. What is it to do? It's F to do the resurrect tower spots. Oh, they're still coming. Oh, I didn't realize I had these two spots down here. And no problem. Sure, give me another tower improve. I do need projectile speed. Especially for this level, because I think there is just a whole wave that's tiny enemies. So my uh, so my shots flying further is only a good thing. Where else can I build? Right there. Yeah, look at that. I also uh, I did do a couple more uh, researches, so now I do more damage to uh, the larger enemies. Which is kind of nice. And then I think this is the extra wave now. Yeah, so projectile speed is definitely going to be a big one for us. I want to overcome the negatives of using the slow tower. But also tower cost is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, give me a rare radius increase. Alright, yeah, let's take a modifier. Uh... Shoot. Forgot how they arrange themselves on this level. Okay, so they'll come from this direction first. Keep an eye up here, because I think this is where the next wave comes in. Oop, nope, I was wrong. That's okay. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. I case all the time. Yeah, nothing's getting through that side. We pretty much got that all locked down. Not even a little worried. Just ignore the fact that I'm sweating profusely. Ignore that. We're five on this, two, three, four on this, five if you count that through that path. Oh my. That's a big wave. Those are some big waves. Okay, yeah, we're fine. No problem. No problems whatsoever. Well, let's see what we got here. Chain damage we have, crit damage we have, and area damage we have. Did I take a shield damage yet? No, I haven't. I think I'm going to take a area damage for the time being. I have no money, so the shop is completely useless. But I will be forced to take shops at some point. Oh, shoot. Where are they coming? Okay. I want a spot here. Kind of towards the end. Yeah. And time will tell if chain dam if uh, taking the chain, not taking the chain damage was the right call. Uh, I am still worried about shields. That always seems to be the... I lost my mouse there for a second. Uh, shields always seems to be the thing that screws me over so hard. You know, I wouldn't mind... The chain damage is really good with this. The other thing that's really good is the uh, enemies explode on death. Combine that with AoE. So you're kind of doubling up on your AoE, in a way. Uh, freezing. Oh, wow. A unique chain damage. Uh, four targets take 12% damage from the previous. So... Okay, so I'm thinking here with the with the chain damage, if we can find another upgrade for it, it'll be all the better because it's a unique upgrade. I'm still very much worried about shields though. Uh, I'm gonna be looking on now for shield upgrades. Lots of shield upgrades. Or shield damage upgrades. Because uh, you wouldn't think 25% minus 25% shield damage is that much. Although I am, I think I am getting plus 15% from all the researches that we've done. 
So we might be okay. Still would like to do more damage to shields. So I will prioritize a shield upgrade. All right. Um, projectile speed. Let's bring our projectile speed up to only minus 10%. This level. I'm okay. There, build there, build there. I want you here now. Let's just stop a second. Okay. This side will be a problem. Did I take? Oh, my tires are still costing 92. Okay. That was a good first level. Okay. So I want to seal off this side completely. Deal with that side. I want one more tower here, and I will be willing to say that this side is safe. I feel like it's this side that's going to be giving me the... Oh, it wasn't actually. It was this side giving me the problems. You know what? Build a tower there and there. Ooh, big enemies. Should be good there. I'm just now backfilling towers basically because I can. Like, nothing's going to get through here. And that's all I'm really willing to build right now. I lied. I'm willing to build that and that. So far, so good. This challenge has been... Ooh. Ooh. Legendary fire rate. Oh, wait, where do they come from? They come from both the top and the bottom. Looks like... Okay, we're fine. What am I? What is my attack speed now? Uh, so that I've got 20 with that, with my fire rate. Oh, I got 40 per plus 40%. All right, fine, this level's super easy. This is no problem for us. We're trained professionals. No, semi-trained professionals. I really feel like this is the run that's gonna, I'm holding fast for it, but that's really all the faster these enemies move. Or attack speed is actually super good because it's almost like having more damage. Which is really neat. Uh, projectile speed? Shield damage. Okay, projectile speed. A shop which I... Um, I hope my goods interest you. I guess I have... 50... I have no money to spend anything, so I'm... I just gotta go to the next level and... Hope... I have enough damage here. So the, the dev did comment on the last video I did and said that there was more... If I beat more runs, eventually I'll get more lore? But I don't remember exactly how long they said that would take. It, it didn't... It sounded like it was... I think they said it was like 10 runs I would have to beat to... Expose more lore? Expose more lore. Uh, find more lore? I think find more lore is probably the better word. And I probably could have done that uh, single run, uh, life run. have been okay. Okay, when am I going to get my next set of things unlocking here? Feeling better, feeling comfier. Feeling a lot comfier. I'd feel a lot comfier if I could get these two to unlock. Thank you. 
Now I feel super comfortable. It's usually the, the first two waves are what kill you on this level. If you can survive waves one and two, you're probably fine. And now I think we just win. Uh, so the fact that this tower is... That I'm hitting him, it's actually cascading chain damage to these other enemies and doing AoE. Now look at how much money I got. I could do something with it on these levels. Let me build more towers! Uh, even if I lost today, your attempts will be in vain, yada yada yada. We are doomed to eternal confrontation, I know. Just die. Thank you. Uh, I'm exhausting, but getting used to it. Indeed. Hope this was the last time. Regrettably, it's not the last time, my dude. We're kind of screwed here. Doomed to eternal confrontation, as the guy says. So now we got our usual little cutscene here, with the darkness receding. I'll take this time to thank our sponsor. Uh. Uh. Coca Cola? <laughs> No. I think I had a joke for this, but I can't think of one all of a sudden. Let me skip the cutscenes, please. I've already seen it. Let me hit escape past it. World of Emptiness, Supreme Lands. Is that where Kirby's from? Actually, no, that's Dreamland, my bad. Actually, having the uh, on death would be pretty good for these levels with the enemies spawning out of the other enemies. I still haven't taken a shield damage, have I? No, I haven't. I should really grab a shield damage. Like, I'm going to make that my goal, is to find a shield damage and get it. Uh, I will settle for uncommon, but I won't settle for a common. I want the full upgrade experience. Uh, shield damage. So what am I doing now? So I've got 16 plus 15 from research. Minus 25, so I'm up... Suddenly I can't do math. I'm up 6%. Check one thing real quick. No. Uh, there we go. Ooh, did I mess up a placement here? No, I didn't mess up a placement. I kind of messed up a placement. I almost let... I almost leaked there. Okay, there we go. Now I've actually got my fingers on the right keys. I panicked there. Oh man, when I panic, I panic hard, man. I panic super hard. Uh, let's see. So this... Okay, they're coming from both of those sides. Okay. So next upgrade... I'd probably be looking for either more... Per probably more shield damage, honestly. Or just straight up more damage. More damage would be kind of nice, actually. Placed all my turrets, but they're getting awfully close. Yeah, I think I need more power damage. Damage, firepower. I need more shield damage. I need to keep up with their speed. Hey, this is a very... This is a level I don't think I've done before. Ooh, also, we're still looking for the dogs. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still missing some pets. And I've completely filled out this map. Where can I build more spots? Here and here. And now I've completely filled out the level, so now we just have to wait. Not 
quite... Yeah, if I get an option for a damage modifier, I think I would want to take the Explode on Death. Kind of double up the AoE. Because the enemies that can spawn mo more enemies when you kill them are, I think, what's going to be hurting us next. We need firepower. Fire rate. Fire power. We need, we need to hit more. We're going to stop at this shop. And the reason we're going to stop at this shop is because we got a free upgrade here. We're going to go look at the stars here. So this is just a nice one to get a, get a free upgrade. I don't like that we can't control it. Always in the same spot, like right here. 25% projectile speed. Hell yeah! Alright, what am I looking at now for tower upgrades? Let's see, that was projectile speed. So I have plus... Oh, shit! I didn't realize they would come from there. Is that going to kill me? No, it, is. no, it isn't. I'm going to... Get out of this completely scotch-free. Scratch-free? My stupidity, I will not face the consequences of my actions today. Piece of cake. I like that upgrade spot. That upgrade spot. And there. I will place one can't forget that they will kind of sneak their way back in from here. And I pretty much have everything placed now. Uh, and I can't, don't think I can build any more towers anywhere, so I just have to kind of wait this out. Yeah, see, here they come from the backside. This is a very weirdly colored level. I'm, I'm not sure if I like the coloring on this level. It, it's very bright. It's a very bright level. Not too bad. Damage. I'll take a fire rate this time. And a modifier. Where would they come from on this one? I only have four towers on this route. Do I feel good about that? Kind of. I can build a tower here, and I will when I get the money. There we go. Okay, yeah, this is looking awesome. Very good. Very good. Is there, there's an area of damage, burning and chain. So the chain does five to seven targets. Float around the targets when it deals power damage, fiery 30. Gonna take the unique chain damage. And then a kind of useless shot. Sorry, dog, still haven't found your pets. Yep, I, I know, I feel really bad. I am looking for them, actively, in fact. With much enthusiasm, but I just haven't seen them yet. Oh, good lord. Just come on. Come on. Pick it up here. Thank you. All I want to... Dude, I'm chaining back damage to him. Because there's less than seven enemies, so I'm actually dealing damage to that guy right now. That's awesome. That's actually really, really cool. So in theory, with enough damage and enough chain, you could kill this guy without really advancing. In theory, of course. That's actually really funny. I, I kind of like that. Alright. 
So far, so good. An explode on death would still be a nice modifier to have. But between chain damage and AoE, we're probably okay. Probably. Even done a little bit of chip damage to this guy, which is awesome. Now we kind of stopped dealing chain damage to him. Uh, is there any other spots I can build? No. Yeah, our turrets are really, really strong. And since we're getting extra waves, I think we're just getting extra money. I would like to get a couple more levels of cheaper towers. I would like to drop the cost to sub-80. For no other reason than saying sub-80 sounds really smart. But yeah, the cheaper the tower is at this point, the better. Especially on the final boss level. Come on, make your final move. Thank you. And now he's just going to sit here. And so now I just get to idly talk about what's going on. So it's the middle of winter right now. And it's going to be 40 degrees tomorrow. A Fahrenheit for 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's ridiculous because it's cold right now and I want snow. But I can't have snow if it warm. I don't know. The weather confuses me. Darkness recedes and I go after. This could be a contender for, like, my fastest run. Possibly ever. Out of the way of the screenshot of the uh, screen cut there. <laughs> Last one. I wonder what happened. I've never beaten the game with, like, any challenges on. I'm curious as to what is going to happen. Will I... Will I deal additional damage to the darkness as it recedes? So if you remember from the previous episodes, I hit the, I hit the, I hit the darkness, cracked it, and continued to make cracks in it. My keys on the, my, on the right keys here. Yeah, the enemies definitely get a lot bulkier on this level. So... Power damage is a must. Can I build any more towers? Nope, it doesn't look like it. So I'm kind of at the mercy here. Alright. I want damage. Just straight damage. Projectile speed, firepower. Yes. So this is a good spot just because this is where these two paths will conjoin. Right here. And I will put one here. It's a good thing I did. Okay. That looks fine. I guess. Let me finish build once I finish building the so what I do my thought process is build wherever there's free spots right because you don't have to pay additional to unlock those then as you fill up then you start buying the uh, different tower spots or shield damage this is a good spot because this is where two spots converge then uh, I think there? Alright, yeah, that looks fine. Spot there, and I can build one more spot there. I don't see any other spots, so let's start picking spots. Just kind of slap down towers here. Alright, and that's all the spots filled. I kind of like that extra wave. The extra wave just gives me the ability to throw down more towers. And that can only be a good thing. 
What is my projectile speed these days? Firepower, chain damage, fire rate, projectile speed, 79. Okay, that's a pretty good projectile speed. Shield damage, fire rate. I really want these things to go pew. I really want them to go pew pew, but like really, really fast. This is going to be the, f they're going to be the fastest six shooters in all the land. We're fine. We are fine. Making lots of money now. Shore up. Okay, now where am I concerned most? Oh, wait, nope. Build a tower there. I want damage there, and I want another damage there. Uh, can't build any more here, so it's here. And I've built all my towers. Yes, yeah, so I... I know that I'm able to fill the map right now with all of my towers as is. But that doesn't mean much on the final boss where there's a lot more spots to build. So my goal is I would like to have one more, one more, one or two more upgrades to cost. Because that last level is such a pain. Thank you. I will take that cost. Shop is useless. Everything converges here anyway, so we'll just kind of build from the back, I guess. Ooh. Big enemies. You know what? what is a tower costing? 90. That's pretty good, actually. So I would like... Looks like I can't build until here. All right, now we just win. Piece of cake, no problems, we're good. Now look at that, it's so disgusting. That AoE, the AoE is just disgusting. It looks like I am doing pretty good damage to shields. So I'm not super worried about that. Yeah, just more firepower is... Firepower and tower cost, I think, will serve us well. Maybe a little, maybe a radius increase, even. Because if I can spread out damage over greater air distances, it makes my towers more effective. Radius. This is my last cost I'm going to grab. That brings them sub, sub 90, which I'm happy with. Uh-oh. Um, okay. Ooh, I almost scared myself into indecisiveness there. That could have killed me. Uh oh. Just had some leak a leak there. So when I when I when, when I bought my when I had bought my house, my mom took me out, you know, like Home Depot Lowe's to get ideas on uh for the house. Like we my dad and I like completely gutted the bathroom and redid it. So when she, when we went to Lowe's and Home Depot, obviously there's, that's supposed to be a face. There's a lot of different options that you have. That, there's a lot of different options for bathrooms, designs, faucets. I looked at more faucet designs than I ever care to admit, and they ended up settling on the same faucets at my parents' house. But I literally bought myself into indecision, and it was an, and it was, it was kind of sad actually. I thought so much about what I wanted that it was just easier to not make a choice than, than to think about it anymore. Like, I am terrible when given options. But my parents are helping me with my kitchen now. And my mom's, like, been super good at, like, looking up things to do in my kitchen and, like, figuring it out. Because, you know, to me, a kitchen is a kitchen. Although my, my kitchen right now is, is, is kind of crappy. But, uh... We kind of learned lessons from uh, looking at the bath. Not to give me too many options. Like, I can see one option, say, that I am, ha I am happy with that, and I, will live, and I will live with that decision. Like, I don't need to see anything else. My mom likes to present me with options. Well, what about this, honey? What about this? And I'm like, no, no, no more options. 
You want to get the, you want me to have the, you want me to make decisions on this bathroom? I did. First thing I saw, I was happy with. Stop giving me options, woman. I will think myself out of making a decision. I would rather not make the decision than face the ramifications of making that decision. Uh, I don't know where they come from. First. Oh no, they're coming from both sides. Uh-oh. May have just screwed myself over? Nope. Got just enough money. Now I need more of it. Okay, yeah, now we're now we're comfy. Now we're nice and comfy. So yeah, when presented with any sort of options or anything that I can make a decision on, I can think myself out of making one. And I can do it pretty effectively. I, I don't mean to brag, but I can do it super effectively too. Uh, can I build any more? Nope. Can I build any more? Nope. And I gotta live with my decisions, I guess. God, yeah, even like picking the paint in my house was like a battle. Like, I don't know, blue. Well, what kind of blue? Blue is blue! Uh, shield damage, pretty speed, fire rate. Uh. The gates are awaiting. Okay. So we've almost completed a. We've almost completed this with pretty much all negatives. No positives. I want to throw a tower there because I know it'll attack him. And now I want to see the path that this guy's going to take. What path are your little minions going to take? That's a really shitty path. Okay, now I feel a lot now I feel a lot comfier. Let's save up some money. This wave is not gonna get through. And I'm dealing damage to this guy. Okay. All good. Now where is he moving to? Ooh, poor choice, my friend. Alright, uh, yeah, everything's gonna... We'll pick him up from there. Ooh, I got two towers focusing him right now. Look at that! Yes! 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 Dude, am I gonna be able to just, like, kill him on this wave? Not quite. Oh, but his sorry ass just... Okay, what's the... Now I got three towers focusing him? So, we won! We're, we literally are all puppets here, if you understand the lore. So, I just completed a run against level 4 darkness. I took all negatives in the challenge, all things that will work against me, and I took no positives. So I feel pretty good about that. Really good about that run. So I actually got a, a couple of achievements here, which I'll, I'll look at later in my spare time. But I got the Combinator and, and something else. So yeah, our first challenge run and actually caught on camera of me winning, which is really cool. I think that's cool. So now I'm curious what happens. Do I bounce off the darkness again? I definitely just completed a run. Just a challenge run. Honestly, making the shops useless was not all that detrimental. So I think I made more cracks in the darkness? Yes, I do think I made another set of cracks in the darkness. But uh, we'll see. Ooh, statistics. That's new. 
Uh, completed expeditions, 30. Successfully, 4. Failed, 26. Huh. Place tower is built. Damage dealt. And destroyed. Cool. What's this guy? Awesome. And that could have honestly been... And we actually took no damage that run, too. That was awesome. Yeah, so I took no investment, no crystal essence. Enemies will not drop, and each wave will have additional enemies. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Ooh, look at all my upgrades. That's where I get them. Well. Um, ooh, I even got a little bit of uh, scraps of matter and shit. All right. Uh, healing on each level plus one. Sure. Well. I think that is all the time we have for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.